Hello, so I finally got around to editing these videos. There's two of them in this one video. So um, I promise you'll want to stay to the end because the two more exciting models are in the end portion of the video, um, simply because I filmed that at a later date. Um, and later in the video, I may also talk about Hannah having something at the end. Ignore that. Hannah's thing isn't in this video because we ended up going to drive and pick it up. So that thing will be in a different video at some point, maybe. Um, but yeah, just make sure you watch to the end or skip the first portion if you just want to see the grills. I don't... up to you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hey guys, it is one half Min Model Horses and today I have a very quick, um, another unboxing. I have two things to unbox. One of them is a trade, one of them is something from the Briar Path Black Friday set. Let's, um unbox shall we we're gonna do the trade first Oop. so this set is like one that i've never really super wanted um but she messaged me about trading and um she offered these guys and i was like sure why not um so i don't know how long they're gonna stay kind of depends on if i like them or not and of course know by the baby um it is naomi and winona they are super cute the baby is at least i don't have the mare out yet um yeah again i'm just not a huge fan of this mold um but they are i love their colors um so they might stay around we'll see um i also i i don't have any light breed foals so um he might be at least fun to show we'll see she's cute I don't love moody sculpts but um she's like kind of refined enough that I don't mind her but yeah here they are they're super cute thank you for trading with me if you're watching this um yeah I like them they're they're super cute their colors are lovely um their details and stuff I do I don't know we'll see if they stick around okay Next is my Black Friday purchase. I used to absolutely hate this mold. When he came out, I hated him. I despised him. Hannah loves him. If you know, you know. Uh, a, a gorg from the Black Friday sale. Yeah, we call him gorg. Sorry. Um, yeah, he's super cute. His eyes are tricolored. You guys know what George looks like. He's old now. Um, but yeah, he does have a vid and everything, so he's not a sample. Look how chunky he is. Um, I really like him. I don't know if I like him as much as... I really love my Theo for some reason. But yeah, his dapples are nice. His face is super cute. Um, um, yeah, we have a very exciting unboxing coming soon. Two huge, huge grails. Yeah, um, we'll see you guys around. Hey guys, it is- I'll spare you guys the time. Let's go to the unboxing. So I'm very excited. Um, you might be able to tell what mold it is. I've been selling most of my horses on this mold, but this horse in particular, I don't know what it is. Um, that I just like absolutely love her. And again, I, I don't know why. Also, this is a hint for my other thing. We need the gloves, so, yeah. Oh my god. So this is Shining and Sassy, who if you don't know, um, is kind of like confetti. You can't see him. Um, I think he's like confetti. The Lone Star Experience, I think, was one of the Collector Club events and she was like the celebration horse. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know what it is about this horse. I think it's because she's so like nice and matte and her color is so pretty and her face marking. She's got mapping. Oh, stunning. She's super pretty. She has all these bird catcher spots. Um, she'll probably be up on Instagram at some point, but oh, so pretty. All right, next thing I need gloves for. <laughs> oh boy. Can you see what that is? Uh, try not to get 
things everywhere. Mushroom. Mushrooms? Pop. Styrofoam. What are these things called? Packing peanuts. All right. You guys know the lecture. Don't touch your glossy models. Especially black glossy models. It's like touching a mirror or, you know, touching glass. <gasps> oh, that is yummy. Oh. Wow. Um, yeah. Holy moly. So if you don't already know, <laughs> this is glossy Cortez C. Um, and I had a matte Cortez C, sold him to Hannah. And the reason I did that is because I always really, really wanted the glossy one. Um, look how freaking cute his face is. Um, and obviously I don't have the matte one anymore um, because I always wanted the glossy and I got one. I bought a glossy, I bought a glossy prize model. So obviously he has a COA. He's uh, 2017, 2016. Uh, from 2016 Briarfest, and yeah, just stunning. Um, Briar's gloss is just like immaculate, especially on these prize models. There are, I believe, 50 of him made, um, 48 to the open show and two to the youth show. So yeah, that makes 50. There are 50 of him. He's now my most limited OF. Briar, OF Briar. I have obviously more limited stones, but um, yeah, not the most limited one I've ever owned, but yeah, there he is. He's stunning. So two very, um, very nice models. I'm very happy. I um, was feeling very out of the hobby for a while, um, especially after Briarfest. I don't know what that was, but um, oh my god, look how cute that freaking sock is. He's the cutest. He's freaking adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, also know that I am 20 years old and I have a full-time job and I'm also in college and, um, I've sold a lot of horses recently to afford these. It's not like I'm using my parents' money anymore. Um, if you are young and, um you see a collection like mine or like Hannah's and you feel like you're never going to get there, know that you can. Um, just be smart with what you buy and um, know that collecting isn't a competition and um, you should only be doing it for you and for things that you love. And you don't need to um, feel like you need everything on the planet to have a nice collection. Um, I've found, and obviously if, if you do want everything that's released, good for you. I'm happy. Um, but also know that it's okay to not buy everything and not have the biggest collection because I have a smaller collection now than I did, um, three years ago. And my collection now makes me much more happy than it did three years ago. So I hope that little speech helps someone. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you.